To all the geeks and nerds, welcome to another episode of Dissecting Minecraft, and I'm joined again as usual by Methods, and this week we are the Homer and Marge of Minecraft. <laughs> but this week we are going to be talking about tile ticks. So this is something we, we mentioned last week when we talked about TNT, and so we thought it's about time uh, we got into a bit more detail and uh, yeah, went through some stuff. So Methods, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about these tile ticks. Okay, so tile ticks, what are they? How are they done? Basically, we have a bunch of tile tick blocks in the game. And here I place them all down. Mm -hmm. And a tile tick block is basically something that somehow gets triggered, for example, by redstone. And it creates some sort of a delay. Mm -hmm. And then after this delay is over, it does something in the world. Right. That's pretty much what a tile tick block is. So, for example, we have the repeater here. It's a tile tick block. It, you know, on the basic setting, creates a tile tick delay of two game ticks. That is, by the way, the proper name for the delay it's a tile tick delay but it also has something else in it which is what we talked today about and that's its priority so if you for example trigger a repeater and a comparator at the same time the repeater has a priority of negative one and the comparator has a priority of zero therefore the repeater will always update first in right. the tick in the same time so technically, they're on the exactly same delay, but the repeater will do things before. Right. So whenever we're talking yeah. about uh, priorities, it's, it's the lower number. The, the, the... the lower it is, it wins. Yeah. Okay. And here, I just listed them all and I wrote down how they create tile ticks. So the repeater and the comparator, the redstone torch and the observer, they create tile ticks when the state changes. So if they mm -hmm. turn on or off. Then we have the droppers. Droppers only create tile ticks if they get powered. So mm -hmm. they don't do it when they get depowered. Same for the command block. Then we have some more obscure ones like lava, uh, water, and falling sand. Mm -hmm. They create it when they just get updated. So, for example, that's an update, block update. Right, yep. They create a tile tick. Okay. Hey, then we have buttons. Buttons create a tile tick when they get pressed. Uh, pressure plates create and detector rails create tile ticks when they uh, get triggered by an entity. So for example, I walk on this pressure plate or minecart drives on top of it. Yep. Tripwire hooks do it when you actually depower them. So if there was a string here and I left, went out of the string, it would create a tile tick. And the lamp creates a tile tick when it turns off. Okay. Which is not when you depower it, by the way, because the lamp stays on for four more game ticks. Right. And I think, uh, so one thing we should mention is that uh, this is not to be confused with, uh, with random ticks in the game. So uh, things like crops, and uh, ice will get random ticked, and that's something different, right? Yeah, random ticks just happen all the time. So basically every game tick in every chunk, you have three random ticks. And they just do com a completely different thing. They have nothing to do with each other. Okay. okay, then we have some more special rules here, which is repeaters and comparators, they actually check if they are facing into another repeater or comparator. Right. And if they do that, like for example here, we have a repeater and a comparator, it does not create a tile tick priority of negative one, as we learned. It creates a priority of negative three. Right. And if we do the same thing with a comparator, here we have a comparator into a repeater. It does not create a tile tick priority of zero. It creates one of negative one. Right. Then we have one more special rule here. If a repeater turns off, it creates a tile tick priority of negative two. That doesn't happen if it's only getting powered for, let's say, uh, four redstone ticks or eight game ticks. Mm -hmm. It only happens if it's actually like truly powered for a longer time and then just turns off. Right. So we, of course, we've, with these components, we've learned before that uh, that the, these things are two game ticks of delay each. So with all of these, they they still have the same amount of delay. So they'll all happen in the same the same game tick. But because of the priority, that's how you, that's how you can tell which one's gonna gonna happen first. Exactly. Basically, we can order stuff in the same game tick. Here we have the first little example. Mm -hmm. We just have a command block saying repeater and a command block saying comparator yep. behind the respective blocks. And we can see this will always say repeater first and then comparator yep. every single time. Okay, perfect. Okay, here I created now. This is a little bit more of a tricky setup. Mm -hmm. So here we have the negative three priority. Here we have the negative one priority, since there's a redstone dust in between them, they're not facing into each other. Yeah, yep. And here we just have also two comparators with a redstone dust in between, and that's the priority zero. Right. We trigger this. You can see it's minus three. Order every it's one. Okay, perfect. Here we have the example with the repeater that turns off. Hmm? 
you can see everything is again on the same delay game tick wise mm -hmm. but here we have a negative three priority and here we have a negative two and if we just trigger this yep negative three first and then negative two yep every single time okay makes sense so, and now it's pretty much more examples and what can we use this for. So the main use is basically piston technology, mm -hmm. since we can make pistons order stuff for us. So for example, here is we can, same thing as before. We can see always the left piston will extend since it's on the repeater. Mm -hmm. Here, just another example. Pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. yep. Here we have one with the turning off repeater. Okay, yep. And that's pretty much all about tile tick priority that's interesting mm -hmm. already. And yeah, I just wanted to mention again, so the interesting parts about this is pretty much zero tick technology where we have to order things correctly to get powered and depowered in the correct game tick with the correct timing or priority. Mm. And of course, as we saw last episode, TNT. Yeah. <laughs> so TNT can also use this for all kinds of crazy things. And I think those are pretty much the two things you can do with it. Right, so this, the important thing here is this is to really get get your timings down to to something that's that's smaller than a tick. So rather than having to time things uh, by a tick, yeah. you can actually time things correctly exactly. within a tick as well. Tile ticks only come in if you have a conflict, and a conflict means basically you're doing something at the same time. So a conflict, just a simple one, as we had before here, we have a conflict. Mm. Which piston is going to extend first? And okay, if we that's... just switch this around. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. And yeah, it is also heavily used, for example, in super fast doors and all kinds of things. You really have to say, okay, I have this conflicting thing here. It has to do things in the exact same time. Or, for example, if you use some some zero tick technology to push a block twice in the same game tick, it's also usually using tile tick priority. Or it uses something different, which we will probably cover in the next episode, which is. Uh, scheduled block events or block mm -hmm. updates yep which is basically the, the tile tick versions of pistons and yeah that's already it all right awesome thanks very much all right so that is about it that was a short one a short but sweet uh, but uh, we needed to do that this week uh, because next week we're going to look into uh, some more interesting things that requires this uh, this technology uh, in particular we're going to be breaking some bedrock so uh, tune in for that one next week so uh, yeah if you enjoyed the episode then please hit the like button and if you're new then feel free to subscribe and if you've got any comments suggestions any kind of feedback that kind of stuff and uh, yeah and also if you've got any uh, any uh, contraptions you want us to dissect uh, then get it in the comment section too but yeah until next time i will see you later